What if I tell you that the design of a world fastest train is inspired by birds? Yeah, you heard it right. Let me tell you the story. The story goes back in 1962 when Japan introduced its first bullet train. It traveled at over 320 km per hour, making it world's fastest land machine. But there was a problem with it. Noise. As one of these trains would rocket into a narrow tunnel, it would often create a loud shockwave on its way out. Boom. A majority of this noise was caused when air at speed hit structures on the train called pantographs or collection devices mounted on the roof that received electricity from overhead wires and was necessary to supply power. Eiji Nakatsu wasn't just an engineer, he was also an avid bird watcher. He understood how much of both past and present aircraft technology is based on the studies of the functions and structures of birds. Nakatsu learned that owls are some of the most silent hunters because their wings leading edge or primary feathers are covered in small structures, hooks and bows, that cut microturbulence in the air. These are called serration feathers. No other birds have these feathers and these are what make owls whisper, quiet in flight. Inspired by the owl, the engineering team created a series of serrations on the main part of the pantograph, succeeding in reducing noise enough to meet the strict environmental standards in Japan. However, while the boom was quieter, it was still there, and they needed to do more. Here comes. The Kingfisher, which is noted for their spectacular ability to dive into water to catch water, dwelling animals, and is especially impressive because they do it with no or very little splash. When the bird makes the transition from flying through the air to diving into the water, its long beak increases in diameter gradually from the tip to the back as it plunges to catch its next meal. Next. They fitted the front of the train with a design similar to the Kingfisher's beak. And just like that, the tunnel booms were gone. Nature is the perfectly well-oiled machine. All we can do is take inspiration and resolve our difficulties. This practice is known as biomimicry, which literally mean copying from nature. Be curious and try to find out what other inspirations we have derived from nature and what else could be our next inspirations.